There's a danger in coming together year after year to celebrate the birth of Christ that occurred like 2,000 years ago. We regard the coming of Christ as a significant historical event. Thus, we tend to view it in the context of an ancient era, way back then, just history, you know. It is an event that we observe, and as observers, we place ourselves outside of it, looking on, celebrating the birth of a baby long ago, rather than the rebirth of our lives today. And we must remember that's why Christ came. It is God within each of us that makes the Advent season a time of renewed hope and, and a celebration of new life. Let us rejoice together in the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Though many centuries ago, but let us also bring His birth into the context of our lives today. At this very moment, we can do that. Advent is going toward greater love among all people. Advent is going toward greater peace and harmony among people. Advent is going toward, as the carol says, the dawn of God's redeeming grace. This is an Advent for each of us. We stand at the threshold of decision, a decision that occurred nearly 2,000 years ago. Or can we be loving servants of Christ who all walked among us? And that's what He wants us to be transformed, come to the place where we know that everything is okay between us and the Lord and that He's with us today because He is. He's not a babe in a manger anymore. He's the glorified, immortal, imperishable Son of God. Amen. Beside His Heavenly Father today as our intermediary. And He's given us the Holy Spirit that would guide us and direct us into all truth. We want to bow for just a word of prayer, and this will be a prayer for our fellows. More things, and then we will be then we will depart. Every day. 